Hello guys, welcome to this flipping Windows tutorial on how to install Windows 10 via boot. You can either have a USB drive or a DVD disc to boot Windows 10. And if you guys don't have an operating system currently on your tower or computer, this is the best way to get Windows 10 installed. Or if you just want to do a complete wipe of your operating system that you currently have, this is the other best way to do it as well. So what we can do is get started right now and just press any key to boot from CD or DVD or USB. And from here, I'm gonna take you guys one step out of a time on the whole process and walk you guys through it. From here, just pick your language, your time, and your keyboard input layout, press next, and then press install now. If you do have a license key, be sure to have it ready to enter, otherwise you can just press skip. For the time being, I will press skip, and I will accept the terms by checking that and pressing next. From here you want to press custom install windows only. If you do have multiple drives, chances are you want to be sure to install the right drive, especially if you have a new drive. For example, if you have hard drives and solid state drives, be sure to know which one they are. For example, the 20 gig one that I have here would be, for example, a solid state drive and this would be my other hard drive. Be sure to know exactly what they are. So I will pick that one to install Windows 10 on, press next. And then from there, the Windows setup will go and copy each window files and get it ready for installation. And then we'll fast forward this and go on to the next step. Okay, coming up on where it's finishing up, please do not press any key to boot from CD. Also allow this to restart or you can just press enter right now. Okay, so when you get up to this dialog window, we're pretty much almost there. If you, again, if you have not entered your key and you choose not to right now, do this later. And then press Use Express Settings. Okay, right under here where it says who owns this PC, just press I own it. Or if you have an organization, press next as well once selecting that. If you do have a Microsoft account, please log in with your credentials, otherwise you can skip the step or you can create one if you do not have one. If you do have an authentication requirement, just press approve and then you'll be on your way to log in. If you have any questions about this, you can press this right here to read more up on it. If you would like to set a PIN, I'd do so as well, that way it'd be a lot easier to log in. I'm going to enter a four digit PIN. And then from there, I'll press OK. If you guys are interested in using the cloud storage with OneDrive, please go and press Next. Otherwise, you can save new files only to this PC by default. But for this instance, I'll press Next. If you are interested in using Cortana, please allow yourself to press Next or otherwise just press Not Now. Okay, so onward into the first step of Windows 10. This is the final version of Windows 10. Once you guys have installed Windows 10, you can take out your installer media. That way you can put it away elsewhere. The whole process took about anywhere 15 to 40 minutes, depending on your hardware specs. Other than that, if you guys have done everything that I've done through this whole process, you should be good. And then from there, you guys can start using Windows 10 as you would normally use with Windows 7 or Windows 8, but even better with more security and, and all the other features that Microsoft has. Well, I hope you guys like this walkthrough video on how to install Windows 10 through the boot process. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. Also, I'll be having a lot more Windows 10 content pretty soon in the future. But until next time, guys, see you later. Goodbye.